Hello, my name is Gerald Walker, and I'll be reading from my book, How to Make a Slave and Other Essays. The title of this essay is Breathe. One cause of your son's seizure, the doctor says, could be syphilis. Ask what's the basis for such speculation, given that no physical exam was conducted, no blood work drawn, no urine sample taken, and that your son, who is lying on the hospital bed before you looking bewildered, is 12. Obviously, it's not unheard of for 12-year-olds to have this disease, she responds, which is impossible for you not to hear as, you're black, so I really shouldn't have to tell you this. But it is possible, apparently, not to lose your temper. Be grateful for the article you read last month about the benefits of breathing exercises in times of high stress, because the one you're doing now is actually working. Before speaking, take another deep breath, followed by a slow exhale, focusing all the while on the air passing through your lungs. There. Now tell your family it's time to leave. Marvel at the calmness of your voice and wish you'd discovered this exercise years ago, long before your high blood pressure and reputation for being angry. Pat your son's shoulder as you nudge him upright. Take him home. Once home, in your study, do some Google searches. Start with syphilis. Tell yourself you know your son doesn't have syphilis, but be curious to see if the doctor was racist and dumb or only racist. Forget the doctor and just search adolescence and seizures. But when you reach the part about brain tumors, turn off the computer and work on your breathing some more. Thank you.